All right. Good morning, everybody. Uh, sorry, there was a little bit of technical things going on because I had canceled the broadcast and now um, because of the fire and now uh, it wouldn't let me like use the scheduled thing. I don't know. I thought I was a techie person. I am learning. I am learning that um, I am less techie than I had thought. So thank you all for joining me in the Facebook group. Um, I promise I'm going to keep learning. I'm trying so hard to learn all of the tech that is involved with providing you with like the highest level of nutritional and health support that I can. Um, so thank you. Thank you for, for bearing with me as I learn these things. So it is Tuesday morning. We are doing another lovely episode of Tuesday with Mrs. Tucker. And this is our live um, Tuesday trainings that I'm going to come with you at every Tuesday at 930 Eastern Standard Time. Um, thank you all for checking on me and my husband and my neighbors this week. Um, it really meant a lot to me. And thankfully, everybody is okay. All the pets are okay. Um, it's like Grand Central outside the apartment always <laughs> because they are rebuilding and and flying. They're, they're working so hard out there. So, um, and, and thank you to all of the fire department people that came and all the EMS and the police and everybody. It was like a really a group effort from like nine different towns. And, um, that is why I'm, I'm able to still be in my apartment and coming to you live today. So, um, thank you. So what we were supposed to talk about last week, um, was we have a goal. Right. And we've all joined this group because there's something we're looking for. There's something we want to change. There's something we want to be better at. Um, we're looking for more. Right. And um, why do why do people change? There, there's like a level of of suffering or a stressor or a trauma or, um, you know, we're upset. We're, we're dissatisfied with something that we want to be better. Right. Or more. Um, and that is why we, we go on a path to change, right? And we're totally satisfied and content when we don't need to change, right? But change can be hard and it's hard to know where to start. And, and two weeks ago, we talked about the all or nothing, that we want it so bad that when we start, we go too gung-ho and too strong out of the gate. And we think it's this short race when, if you're in this group, most likely, this has been a long, a long race. It's like a marathon, right? Which is why I'm calling this a journey. Okay. We've yo-yo dieted, um, before and we thought of it as this, this short run. And now we need to think of it in a different light. We need to think it's a, it's a bigger end game. It's bigger. We get at least think of it as like, if you like sports, like it's not just a game, it's the season, you know, and we want to win the Super Bowl. I only kind of know f football. And, you know, I'm a girl, but no, w women, women know a lot about football. Sorry. Uh, but so uh, I'm, I'm learning a lot of rules about football. I'm actually very into that. So um, anyway, it's a big end game that we're we're looking for. We're not looking to just win the game. We're, we're looking to win the season. OK, um, and let's say we're like the worst team <laughs> compared to the other teams. Like we might need to. Um, play a few seasons to become the best team, right? So just, just think of this process that I'm going to guide you through as a longer, bigger, but then once you're the best team, you're the best team. All right. We don't really don't go back to the being the worst team again. You know, we're the, we're the best team. We're their best life. We're the best self, the best body for us, whatever that is for you. Okay. So it's not about um, what someone else wants you to do. You have to want to do this. So for instance, like if a doctor is telling you you have to lose weight or a family member or you've just heard it your whole life, um, that it's not what they want you to do. It's what you want to do. You have to choose to do this. OK, so if you've chosen to make a change, I want to take you through the steps um, to figure out how to start. OK, so if you're watching this on the replay or you're watching with me live, Tell me where you're watching this from and tell me if you're excited. Are you excited for this information? Because like it's gold. 
it's gold right here. It's like what the day I found, I found Lysol wipes in my closet, you know, and Lysol wipes were not in any store on any online. And I was like, oh my God, it's closet gold. So this is like health gold. Okay. This is how to not go, go for the all or nothing approach. This is how to start and how to start small enough where you're still getting results daily, weekly, monthly to make that big, big impact at the end. All right. So, um, yeah, and hashtag replay and all the emojis. I get fired up from the emojis, maybe the fire emoji. I really love that guy that says this with the hands. Oh, wait, there's my hands. Like jazz hands. I get excited about that one. I think it's supposed to be like a hug, but I think of it as jazz hands because <laughs> I'm a theater kid. All right. So step one. Um, so if someone can throw in the comments, step one, or, you know, write it down in your notebook or... Uh, yeah, in the comments would be great. That way everybody can always like follow along and see them. All right, so step, step one is start with the awesome, okay? We don't wanna start with the thing that is so elusive and scary and we think it's terrible and like, I hate running, right? I'm not gonna pick running as the first thing I'm gonna do. No, no. I might start with walking, I might start with a bike, I might start with marching in place, I might do a Leslie Sansone video, right? I might take a Zumba class. I'm not gonna start just running, right? I don't like it, I'm not good at it. That's not where we start. We start with the awesome. So step one, start with the awesome. So think about it this way. Where or how are you already successful and how can you do more of that, all right? How can we do more of the thing we're already good at? So um, are you maybe working out? Are you, have you already practiced mindful eating? Um, are we already drinking water maybe? Um, so in what situations do you tend to be successful? And how can we reproduce more of that for you, but now in service of this new healthy, like nutrition related task? All right. Um, so maybe you are uh, more successful with like a deadline. Like you kill it when it's like time crunch, like, you know, I have to do it by Friday, you know, and like that that's how, where like the situation that you're most successful in. Or um, maybe maybe that stresses you out. You never hit deadlines like that's not your thing. Um, and you're and you're you thrive in a looser, more open-ended goal, um, you know, with like a looser time frame. Um, maybe uh, you work better in a group, right? Or maybe you work better alone, all right? So you wanna think of um, the, the situation around where you thrive and where you are already awesome. Maybe you're best in charge or maybe you're like the best follower ever. Like if someone tells you what to do, like that's gold. That's where you, that's where you win. Um, so where do you feel strongest? Uh, and how can we build upon those strengths? So, um, some other examples of strengths you might, you might have that you can build upon and utilize here is, um, like you're super organized. Uh, you love spreadsheets, you love color coding, you know, uh, like you, you, that's your jam. <laughs> okay. Um, Maybe, like you love planning things out in advance. Um, maybe you're really tech savvy. Maybe you are super more tech savvy than I am. And you could utilize the fact that you are like this super tech genius to automate like your tasks. And, and we, we just want to use this towards your, your nutrition or health and fitness, like your health, your health um, goals, right? Uh, maybe you are already a great cook, right? Maybe we, you know, that's not the issue. Right. We want to start where the issue is not. It sounds it sounds backwards. Right. That's why this approach is so different. OK, I'm telling you, like, it's going to work. It's worked for so many people. A hundred thousand people. All right. Have utilized what I am teaching you. And it. I promise it will work. And it's going to sound different, but it's going to sound like, duh, like that. <laughs> OK, that's what's so cool about this. All right. Um, so maybe you are like really knowledgeable already about health and fitness. So a lot of us that have done the yo-yo dieting, um, 
before and really haven't figured out why it hasn't stuck and why it hasn't worked, we know a lot. All right. We know a lot. Put it in the comments if you if this is you. Do you already know like you have to eat protein? Right. Do you already know you should be drinking a lot of water? <laughs> we know these things. It's not like, oh, I'm eating pizza three times a day and I'm going to eat fast food. Like, why am I not losing weight? We know, we know why, right? That's like not the issue. So if this is you, let, let me know because um, this is who I think I'm talking to. <laughs> and I wanna make sure I'm, if it's not you too, put that in the comments. I need, I need to also know that I'm talking to the right people in the right way because I really want to help you, okay? This is, this is why I'm here. This is why I created this group. Um, so we were on step one. We're starting with the awesome. Um, so uh where were we um so the, awesome so so i had some more examples um so maybe you like already understand uh, like how your body moves like maybe you've already been working out um you're already awesome at consistency that's like a huge thing not everyone is great at that but maybe you are we're just not consistent at the right the things the things that are going to help us maybe we're not consistent on those yet right so like if you are really good with consistency like we want to start with that kind of awesome. Um, so whatever you're already awesome at, you start with that and then build upon utilizing that. So don't pick that thing that's like super overwhelming and elusive. Like even if you know you have to eventually get there and we have to attack that, that is not where I want you to start, okay? Don't start there. It will be too hard. You're gonna give up, you're gonna get frustrated, you're gonna be miserable. This is a lifestyle journey. <laughs> and I don't want you to be miserable, all right? When I became a trainer, theater kid, became a trainer, right? I wanted to help people, and I wanted to help people not be miserable at the gym, but still get to their goals. Over the last 10 years, I've realized, yes, I can do that, but so much of what we need to do is outside of the gym, right? I can only help you so much if I see you two hours a week, right? It, it, we, there's so many hours in the day and the week that I'm not with you. And those are the hours that I need to like kind of get in your head. Like, like the, my current um, clients, they're like, one of them talks about me in their head. And then another one talks about them as, as me on their shoulders. Like, like here's the one that uh, like me. And then here, maybe here, sometimes here's them like with the pitchfork being like, eat the potato chips. And like, here, here's me being like, what else is like a, a slightly upgraded, maybe salty snack that you can have instead. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you know, so like they, and they hear me in the store. So either way, um, I need to be with you much more than those two hours a week at the gym. So that is why I'm here giving you this advice now. All right, so step one, we'll start with the awesome. Step two, you pick three areas that you want to focus your efforts in. Um, and if you need help uh, with that, if you need help with any of these steps, just reach out to me. Um, so maybe maybe it is nutrition, right? But health has a lot of, um... oh, look, someone's here with me. Someone said, yep, yep, yep. Yay, um, thank you for agreeing with me. It says Facebook user. I didn't say this in the beginning. Um, if you are joining me live in our group, I'm going live through StreamYard. And at the top of the post in the group where it says I'm going live, um, there's a little disclaimer and a little link. It says, I'm going live through StreamYard to be able for me to see your, your, your profile name. You have to click this link and you only have to click it once and then any of the lives, any of, any of the things I do after that, I'll be able to see your name um, and, and talk to you or, or check back in with you in the group. Um, so everybody watching, just click that, that little link that says something about StreamYard so that um, that's all that is. It's just so that I can see, see who it is I'm talking to. Um, okay, so, so health. There are, there are, there's like basically six pillars of health that I want to help you with. Um, and a lot of times we only focus on two. We focus on like nutrition like, and, and fitness. But there's so much more to health. There's so much more to lifestyle. Right. So um, maybe maybe it is nutrition you want to focus on. Maybe it's fitness. Maybe it's relational, um, social things. We're um, interacting with other people, how, how we interact with the world around us. Um, maybe it's sleep and recovery. Maybe that's where we're getting hung up. Right. We, we can't lose weight and get fit and, and be de-stressed and 
happy all the time if we are like so miserably tired and like we can't keep our eyes open and when everyone <laughs> I've had clients where I'm like oh hey how are you as they walk in the door and they're like tired so tired I'm like oh well that's where we need to focus our effort if every time someone asks you hey how are you you're like I'm so tired like <laughs> no 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 um that that is like a big that's, so that's the whole pillar all on itself um maybe it's like existential maybe it's spiritual um Maybe it's about like stress and time management and self-care. Um, so you want to pick pick three areas that you want to focus on. That was step two. Step one, start with the awesome. Step two, pick three areas you want to focus on. Part B of step two um, is pick one of those. All right. We're not doing it all. We're just picking one. Okay. So now you have one area you want to focus on. All right. Um, let's just say it, say it was nutrition. So now you want to write down what your overall goal relating to that is. All right. So this, this general area that we want to focus on nutrition, what is our goal there? It's going to be different for everybody. So is it behavior based? Is it like I, um, want to work on only eating, when I'm hungry and not all the time, or learning to stop eating when I am full and not overeating. Um, is it more like approach oriented? Like I keep picking up food, fast food, or picking up food that's out. Um, I want to learn how to uh, cook in my own kitchen. Um, not rely on pre-made foods, right? Um, maybe it's like a mastery focused task. Like, are you fine tuning something? Um, so it doesn't have to be, right? Cause we're, we're starting with something we're already awesome at, right? So it's not something we suck at. <laughs> so maybe you already cook, like, so I picked, let's say my topic was nutrition. Um, I, already, I already cook, but I'm cooking the same three things. <laughs> and I want to master, you know, how to cook, all the lean proteins, you know, or um, I haven't really learned how to, well, so like I eat a lot of raw vegetables and I know how to steam them. And if I had a grill, I could grill them. But like, like, so for me, like I might want to learn how to cook vegetables in other ways. <laughs> um, so now wh whatever our goal is, we put a goal, the general goal. Step four, we wanna break down that goal um, little, little, little pieces. All right. So, um, break the larger goal down into smaller pieces and make sure that each of those pieces relates back to the larger goal. All right. So none of these little smaller pieces should be without a larger purpose. All right. So if it's like, I need to learn how to eat all the food groups, um, I want to focus on cooking. I want to focus and that's smaller. I want to learn how to cook um, the vegetables um, in a bunch of different ways. It's about because I'm not eating enough vegetables or not, you know, often enough or, you know, that's something that I know my body wants and needs and I'm really excited to do it. Okay. So as small as you get, you want to make sure the small po um, pieces relate back to your, your larger goal. Um, so I want you to write down five pieces, okay? Five. <laughs> um, in, in the area that you've, you've chosen to start on. So we had three areas, we picked, brought it down to one. Now we have five pieces of that area. Um, and then, here's, oh, there's more. <laughs> uh, I want you to write down how and why each one of those areas relates to your larger goal, okay? Terry, goal, not be fat. Don't call yourself fat. That's a mindset thing, all right? I don't like saying fat, <laughs> but I hear you. But that is something we've trained our brains to, um, to think about ourselves. Um, if we have fat to lose, it doesn't mean we're fat. It just means we have pounds maybe of fat that we would like to release. We'd like to pass on. We'd like to give it away. <laughs> okay. Um, and we need to make that, we need to make that a smaller goal. 
Okay. Um, and yeah, we need to, we need to go from the big goal <laughs> and make it smaller because I'm sure you already have ideas of things you want to do to 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 release some fat. Okay. Um, we want we want to start there. Okay. So uh, so we've got the big thing. We've got it smaller now. We've got five um, areas little tiny things that we can do, but we want to make sure we know why we're doing them. If we don't know why we're doing them, we're not going to want to do it. All right. Um, so I, so don't worry. I also made, um, what's it called? A Google form. <laughs> so although you can be writing all this down, but I made you like, I made you a form that you can fill out these answers to. And then, um, let me, you can let me know that you did it. And then I can like look at it and help you, um, fine tune it or if you get stuck somewhere, um, I can see where you got stuck and what your thought process was to getting there. Uh, like math, like I wasn't great at math, <laughs> but um, I can help you, um, you, you know, have to, like show your work, right? Like how did you get to the answer? Like, oh, oh, here, here in the long division, here was where where we got awry, kind of like that, <laughs> okay? So this form is kind of like like that. Um, and you can type it in and, and I can and I can comment back and send it back to you and stuff. So um, so we want to double check that each piece um, relates back to our big goal and it's clear, it's concrete, it's specific, and here it is, it's doable, okay? We're gonna get into the doable part right now a little bit. So um, step five, there's nine steps. All right, so we're at least halfway there. It gets better after this. I mean, we're gonna get, it gets simpler. It's all very simple. That's why I've created nine steps <laughs> because um, it helps you move simply from one to the next one so that you're really clear by the end of it, okay? It, I'm breaking it down. So it, it this whole journey I'm taking you on, it's not easy, right? Because if it's easy, we wouldn't be here. We wouldn't be in the boat we're in. We wouldn't be looking for a change. Uh, it's not easy, but it is simple. I'm gonna make it super simple. Okay, so um, now we have those five things that we make sure relate back to our goal and are doable. We only pick one, all right? <laughs> so we had three things, then we brought it to one thing, then we made that into five things, now we only pick one of them. So this is the piece that you're gonna focus on for the next little while, um, and you may only pick one at a time, all right? You are not allowed to pick all five of those even though they're all under like an overarching area of health, all right? So your objective is to do this one thing, your one task consistently every day, okay? Every day. So that one thing, we're gonna start with something that's five minutes, okay? Which brings us back to the title of today, which was, how a five minute habit can change your life, okay? So this this um, should be a piece of cake, okay? This is a really tiny, 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 tiny piece. And um, we're gonna work on that until you've got it, okay? We wanna make it, a, it's gonna be a practice because we're gonna do it every day, but because you're doing it every day, eventually it will turn into a habit. And habits are something we automatically do, kind of like breathing or maybe brushing our teeth. Um, I make coffee every day. That is a habit. Wake up, turn the coffee on. There's a whole pattern, right? Put your face wash, do your lotion. Habit. You don't think about it. You just do it. All right? That is what this, this journey is about. It's about doing the work to like how we're doing right now, to take our goals, be clear about them, break them down, make them really specific. But now we're gonna work hard and we're gonna practice them till they're habits and we don't have to think about them anymore. And that way you never have to do that because you're already doing it, it's already habit, it's like breathing, okay? Does this make sense? Let me know if I'm making sense, if you're getting it, if it sounds, Easy, well, not easy, it's hard, but but simple. Does it sound simple? Does it sound like like you get in one what I'm what I'm given? Let me know, let me know. <laughs> um all right, so so you picked one task. Now that task might be too big to start with. All right, so if you can, I want you to try to make it even smaller. All right, so we want this totally doable piece of cake 
uh, kind of task. So for example, let's say nutrition was my big goal. I brought it down. Um, I picked, I picked water. I, I know I would like to start with drinking more water. Um, oh, my mouse is in the wrong spot. Oh, great. Thank you, Terry. Definitely. Okay, great. Thank you. Okay. So let's say I, I want to drink more water. I know. So if you are whatever many pounds you are, let's say you're 200 pounds. All right. You want to drink a hundred ounces of water a day, half your body weight in ounces. All right. That is uh, my water bottle right here. I always have my water bottle. Um, it's like three liters. All right. Uh, I have coffee. I have coffee. I'm sorry. So two of these, three of these. Well, it's a lot of water. It's a lot of water. I was going to show you like a, I have a, a liter and a half bottle. So I have to drink two of those. Um, so, so for instance, uh, well, that's too big. I know like just drinking water sounds like a small task under the nutrition thing, but that's too big. Okay. So, because you're not drinking that much water yet. So let's say you're drinking, let's say you're drinking this much water. All right. Your goal is not to get to the three liters yet, the hundred ounces, the half your body weight in ounces. Um, your goal is to drink one and a half of these because you're already drinking one. Okay. Make sense? Then we can build upon that and expand and get you further. So uh, when you're starting, this might be a side note. I don't know if I have this in here yet. But when you're starting with this five minute tiny task that you're going to do, um, that's what I'm saying. Your task is not to drink water every every meal throughout the day if you're not drinking it yet. Okay. Your task might be when I drink my coffee, I'm going to drink a cup of water. If you tie it to a task you already do, it's so much easier, all right? Because then you don't have to remember as much to do it. Like if I wanted to stand on one foot to work on balance, I might tie that with waiting for the coffee to come out of the curd or brushing my teeth, you know, or um, so if you can tie a task to um, one that you're already doing, um, that's a great way to like start. Oh, great, yes. One step at a time. Yes. Baby steps. That's what I'm going to teach you. How, but I'm teaching you today how to make the baby steps because we think they're small. It's so funny, right? Like I'm going to drink water. Baby step. No, no. Even smaller. Even smaller. Terry's trying to drink water, eat less, sleep more, move more. And it's a fail every day. Oh, Terry. Yeah, that's, it's fine because that's too much. It's way too much. It's way too much. You can't do it all. And that, and that is why we suffer. That is why we feel like we're failing. But guess what? You're not failing because you know what you just learned? You learned something. You tried to do one, two, three, four, at least four things. And those things probably have a bunch of pieces to them, right? So there's like 10 things. We can't. We learned we can't, okay? We learned it's too much. It's too much too soon. None of those are habits yet. We can't practice them all, okay? It's too many things. Um, so you did, you did not fail. We just learned that that's too many, all right? So, so Terry, pick one of these things. Go through this. Go through what I'm talking about now. Um, go, I, it, it's going to look kind of, I think it's this one. It's going to look kind of like this. So you can, I think you can print them out. And, and um, I gave you space to write and whatnot. Um, but if you fill it out online and submit it, like I, and then let me, I, there's no, like, I'm not, I'm learning to get techie. There's no, um, it doesn't alert me that you did it, that I got a response. So if you feel like post in the group, Katie, I did that thing. Yeah, I did that homework or that worksheet. Um, give me feedback or whatever. If you want feedback, uh, just let me know. Um, okay. So, so. We learned that, that was too many things. <laughs> so we want to do one thing. I just used the water example. So now step seven, we confirm the fit. All right. Are we ready, willing, and able to perform this task? Is it small enough? Can I do it? Do I want to do it? Um, is there any other things I need to be able to do it? Sometimes there are tools. Sometimes it's like I need Ziploc bags. I can't do this task without Ziploc bags. I need the Ziploc bags. So we get the Ziploc bags. Okay, no big deal. You know, um, but we want to confirm the fit. 
and make sure we are three things, ready, willing, and able to do it. If you are not all three of those things, um, don't pick that. And we can, we can, we, we're, I'll work with you. I'll work with you um, to help you get ready, willing, and able. So when a client comes to me and tells me, this is the small five minute task that I'm working on that I would love to um, do and, you know, uh, whatever, whatever. I, I'd say, okay, so on a scale of one to 10, are you ready? One to 10. Are you, are you at least a nine? Are you willing? Are you able? All three, scale of one to 10, I ask them. So if they are not a nine or a 10, sometimes I accept an eight, sometimes. Not really, not really. Mostly, you gotta be a nine or a 10 on the ready, willing, and able. I love tens. All right. Um, if they give me an eight, we try to I try to fudge this this task around and make it a little smaller, make it a little more doable. Um, the way you define it is is important too. Um, so is is this task? I really want it to be every day, um, but it doesn't. Maybe like like if it was the water one, it's not. I'm going to drink this much water and I'm going to drink it five times a day to get there. Um, it's like I'm going to drink more water every day and I would like to do it by adding four ounces for the first week. After that, I'm gonna try eight ounces. I'm gonna try a whole cup. Or it could be, my goal is to drink more water, so my task is gonna be, um, I'm gonna take a multivitamin with a glass of water in the morning. You, you know, like, do you guys see where I'm going with this? Is this making sense? Sorry. I'm like waiting, like like if you're here on Zoom with me. I'm so used to training people through Zoom right now <laughs> that I'm like, where are my people? <laughs> okay, so um, so we want to make sure that 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 task that we're ready, willing, and able um, does it it support the practice that you're moving towards um, adopting and developing. Um, and does it align with your overall agenda? Sometimes like we like get so excited about like going down this path and then we're like, wait, 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 that's not really what we wanted to do. All right. So um, we want to make sure it still aligns with our overall goals and agenda, like, you know, the end game, winning the Super Bowl kind of long term stuff. So um, step eight is set up an accountability system. So this is so important. OK. So we want to select a system to measure your completion of this task. All right. We want to track it. We want to make sure we're doing it. So you can post it in the group. Um, you can find a buddy in the group and be like, this is my task. Check in on me. You guys can check in on each other. You can, I can help as many of you at a time as I can. Um, but I do find um, in the beginning, like, uh, did you do it? Yes or no? Or you can do it like on a scale of one to five. Like, did I do it? I, I kind of did it. <laughs> you know, um, it wasn't a complete no. It wasn't a complete yes. Um, we want to track it. That way, um, if we need to amend it or tweak it, we can. Um, so maybe like maybe it's a family member. Um, or like, or yes, you can hire a coach, you can hire someone like me. Um, but so how often check on your progress? So I check pe people's, I check in that they're doing it every day, but then, uh, after like a week to two weeks, that's where we check on, on how the progress is going. Um, and another thing is we want to know how will we know we've completed the task and how will you know you're ready to move forward? Okay. That's why it has to be super specific. Um, how will you know you've gotten there? Right. So for instance, like the, I like to use like the big, like overarching, I want to lose weight. Like how will you know you lost weight? You know, well, um, the scale will tell me, well, what if you got like to your goal size and, you felt awesome and you 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 didn't want to get any smaller, but the scale was still the same. Like, how would you know? Like, how would you know? So it might be like, oh, because when I carry groceries up the hill to my apartment, a house, like I won't get out of breath or my knees won't hurt 
or, um, you know, all my clothes will fit right. Or those clothes that I have sizes, I have a lot of sizes, you know, whatever size I go, when that, when that pair of jeans fit, I reached my goal. I don't, so I said that for the wedding. I was like, I don't care what, um, what the scale says when I fit in those jeans, I'm ready for the wedding. Right. Um, oh, yay. Thanks for sending me smiley faces, people. <laughs> Thumbs up. I love it. Um, okay. So uh, I want you to write down um, how you know you'll get there. All right. So you want to write it down and then you want to commit to your system of accountability. Okay. So whether that be a person in our group, whether it be me, whether it be a friend, um, and you want to be tracking this. So step nine uh, I'm going to be talking about this in length in like another training, um, but it's going to be use outcome based decision making to assess how well the habit worked and plan our next steps. OK, so everything is an experiment. OK, maybe we weren't ready, willing and able. Maybe it wasn't the right task. Um, maybe we thought we were going to get something from it that we didn't. Um, you have an hypothesis and you're testing it. Okay. So we're going to only use outcome based decision making to decide if it worked. All right. If you wanted to drink more water and your big goal is weight loss and you didn't lose weight from, from drinking the water. They, those who don't, we're looking for the wrong thing. We want to be more hydrated by drinking the water, which is going to help us lose weight long term. All right. So we want to be looking for the data, which means we have to collect the data to be able to decide, did it work? All right. I find way too quickly people weren't consistent. They didn't do something every day or they didn't do something every week. They were looking for a goal they didn't get. They decided it didn't work. It wasn't for them. Like, do you know what I'm talking about? Do you know what I'm, I'm like, 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 well, like you didn't track it. We don't know what you did. We didn't know what you didn't do. We didn't know where the issue was. Maybe you started too big. You know, maybe you picked something you were already doing. Um, like, like, we, we, so we, if you're not tracking, you don't have data and you're not doing it consistently, we're not going to get there. No matter what it is, you're not going to get there. So I want to help you be consistent and do something really small every day. All right. So I'm going to post this, um, this form in the group. Um, it's called make it a practice, then a habit. All right. So this is how to take your goal break it down super tiny into a practice that you're going to do every day. And I only want it to be like five or 10 minutes. All right. So by the end of this form, this worksheet, this homework, whatever you want to call it, um, you're going to have something that's just five minutes, maybe 10. All right. Don't make, please don't make it too big. Make it small. Set up an accountability system. Find someone, someone's best. Um, but tracking it is helpful too. That way you're kind of being accountable to yourself. But I, I would suggest use, utilize the group. Utilize the group. That's what we're here for. We're here to support each other. All right. You're here to get support, give support. That's what we're doing here. All right. Um, yeah. Let me know if you have any questions. Oh my God. Okay. So then I got so excited about helping everybody that um, I have some big things planned for our group. And um, I'm going to go live um, later this week and share it all with you. So um, get ready for some exciting stuff happening here. And uh, let me know if you need any help. That's what I'm here for. All right. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, if you have any questions, post them in the comments, post them in the group. Um, if you're watching this on the replay, hashtag or re replay. Uh, Give, give me some smiley faces. Give me some jazz hands if you're excited and fired up and excited to go do this form or get started on your journey. We want to, I want to get you moving, get you started. All right, everybody. All right, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.